from a hand-built commuter bus in 1927 to its present-day fleet of luxurious river cruise ships, APT have come a long way and with a 98% customer satisfaction rate, we think it's about time we found out more on Planet Cruise Weekly. Well, hello and welcome to episode 74 of Planet Cruise Weekly. I'm joined by Glenn. My name's Keith, and uh, as we always say, we're a couple of old sailors who, uh, well, between us, about 20 years or something like that, is it? At sea, yeah, I think it was about 20, 22, I think we worked out, wasn't it, all together? And now we've, we've wound up working yeah. here for Planet Cruise, sharing Settle information. Settle down, kids. Settle down, that's it. Marriage. Marriage. Nearly. 40 Next. years to go. <laughs> <laughs> and you benefit, of course, from our, our really good insights on, on the well, cruise industry. Well, I don't know if they benefit, I know, but exactly. it might be a bit strong. Maybe you put up with us. Yeah. It's probably a better way of saying it. Uh, so today we're looking at river cruising. And unlike deep ocean cruises, the modern river cruise industry largely pretty much didn't exist 30 or maybe even 20 years ago. Uh, privately owned and operated river ships were available to those who wanted to sail down maybe the main or the Danube. Um, but it could be really expensive and was almost always operated on a kind of barge style ship holding just a handful of passengers. Now in the last few years, river cruising has exploded. It's gone through the roof. It's now the fastest growing area of the cruise industry. And right now, what we want to do is look at, or start looking at some of the companies that you can sail with um, as you explore some of the great inland waterways. So we're starting that today with a company you may have heard of or may not, APT Touring. So now what we usually do with this sort of situation is we go through the history first of the company and then we'll go through to the ships a little bit later on. So APT Touring Company, or APT, was founded in the 1920s and it's a Melbourne-based, family-owned and operated travel company. In addition to its various land tours and operations, it has a unique river cruise partnership with AMA Waterways. Now the company got its start when founder Bill McGarry responded to a Melbourne tram strike by building a bus onto a truck body to provide transportation. That sounds like something that Australians would do. I mean, he was a mechanic, really hands-on, yeah. and he used his noddle. And he, yeah. you know, wow, I, I think that's really impressive, don't it you? It is, very impressive. You know what I mean? Now his son Jeff, who still helms APT, pioneered contemporary travel styles in Australia in the 1960s and 70s by greatly expanding acquisitions and growth into a variety of different travel sectors. Now in 2005, Jeff saw an opportunity for a new start of travel and launched APT's Initiative European River Cruise business. Since then, APT has continued to commission new ships and offer new destinations in Asia, like Monomar and of course the Mekong, as well as the US and South America. So as Glenn mentioned before, APT is best known for its partial ownership of AMA Waterways. And working with AMA Waterways, APT offers its guests specific inclusions and enhancements on select vessels, which they call the Royal Collection. And royalty is probably a good term for it. These include a uh, specially designated APT tour director or, or, or cruise director. APT signature experiences uh, often include sightseeing experiences such as a tour maybe of a private castle which is just for, for your group or for, you know, for the ship. Uh, and a complimentary open bar, luxury land journeys, both pre and post cruise, and then tipping, portage and transfers all being included in the cruise fairs. So it really is a very, very more inclusive holiday. All of the cruises APT sells in mainstream Europe take place on board AMA waterway ships, and as such, they hew to certain standards. Now these include ambitious regional cuisine, well-designed cabins, and guided port stops, most included in the fairs. APT sailings are on ships featuring amenities like in-cabin multifunctional TVs, internet setups, elevators, and mechanized wheelhouses that can be lowered to transit under bridges. Yeah, I, I thought this was a bit sci-fi when I first heard about it, but it's completely true because you've got a lot of low bridges on some of the rivers around Europe. They can literally just lower down like a submarine. Under, like a submarine, it's great. Well, they don't go underwater. No. They just they just lower down. Ships in the fleet tend to represent standard riverboat design and layout with two lounges, a large main lounge at the bow, and a more intimate lounge located at the aft and that tends to offer these panoramic views of Europe as you travel down the river, as well as expansive sun decks and plenty of lounges for you to uh, kind of top up your tan on. Now, public areas offer free Wi-Fi and all the cabins have what they're called infotainment setups. So as Glenn was mentioned before, flat screen TVs, but with internet access included in that. There's also got uh, movie and music libraries uh, and also uh, navigational cams on the, the bow and also the stern. Plus, 82% of the cabins feature French balconies. 
She's good. Mm. Newer debut features include a unique to industry design in which cabins have two balconies. One's a kind of French veranda with floor to ceiling windows that open and the other is a true step out balcony with a pair of tables and a chair. And that is really, really rare on, 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 river, on cruises. river cruising, yeah. really, really rare. Um, now these ships also uh, are home to something called the Urban S Restaurant, which uses the traditional aft lounge area to create an alternative venue complete with a glassed-in chef's kitchen, which we'll talk more about a little bit later. Every ship is non-spoken, except on the sun deck, and features a beauty salon and massage therapist. Unlimited local wines, as well as beer and soda, are included with each open seated lunch and dinner, which consists of indulgent regional cuisines with special selections from local European ports. Daily sightseeing programmes are included with each cruise and tours often include the wireless audio devices so cruisers don't miss a word on the history or the culture. And all ships offer roughly 20 bicycles which passengers can use to explore the ports in more detail. APT is the only major river cruise line to be part of the Chans de Rotissiers, part of my French, a famous culinary society with extremely high standards. All meals are open seating within specified meal times and the menus will reflect on the region on which the ship is travelling so guests can experience the cuisine of the area they are travelling. So breakfast consists of a, of a buffet service with a station where there's freshly prepared omelettes and other egg dishes. There are also healthy options such as fresh fruit, yoghurt and also European style breakfast options like cold cuts and cheese. Before we get into the food it's good to point out that the lunchtime menu includes free flowing wine, beer and soft drinks. The lunch menu consists of a buffet with salad, soups, regional entrees and desserts, as well as the classic burgers and fries. Now naturally, dinner is the most formal meal. Uh, it's always held in the main dining room. Several choices of starters, salads and soups. You've got entrees and desserts. And APT uh, like to change their menus to match their surroundings, which we've mentioned before, but it really does create lots of interest, lots of newness. Um, but they also have available classics. So there are certain things that will always be on the menu, such as steak, chicken and fish. Now, entertainment is focused on local customs and culture. Onboard lectures and presentations are often included to help guests to fully immerse themselves in the local heritage and culture. Passengers can enjoy specialist evening entertainment, which can vary depending on the itinerary you choose, from local musicians to impressive European dancers. That's right. Now, you could even enjoy Glenn's favourite, which is the traditional puppet show as you travel through Burma. You're a bit of a puppeteer in your spare time, aren't you? I've got a spare time. <laughs> Alternatively, there are also crew-led performances like the famous crew talent show, quiz nights, um, and of course dance floors. Now as part of APT's partnership with AMA Waterways, guests will be able to benefit from a brilliant enrichment programme which includes a selection of shore excursions to choose from, including guided tours and walks to suit all fitness levels. Now on your tour you'll be given an audio device so that you can learn about the local history uh, and culture with ease so you don't miss out on a word the guides are saying. Now if you are a bit fitter, we already mentioned before of course, there's always at least 20 bicycles on board that you can use free of charge in the ports. And in fact, that's been such a popular thing on the river cruises that a lot of ocean cruising companies are now borrowing that idea. So a really great way of going and exploring, but of course your fitness levels need to be a little bit higher. Um, and plus take a map in case you get lost. Yeah. Um, and AP a bicycle pump. And a bicycle pump, yeah. A puncture repair kit. Yeah. <laughs> APT's Royal Collection also boasts the signature experiences which are exclusive to the APT guests. We mentioned them before but the, the really great things about this are the unique sightseeing opportunities. So private tours of castles, Buddhist temples, a private classical concerts in places like Vienna and decadent rail journeys uh, on board the majestic Imperator. There are sun decks and terraces fleet wide where you can relax and admire the landscape when the weather allows it. Alternatively, unwind in the spa, ship dependent and treat yourself to a specialist massage or treatment. There may also be hair and beauty salons and a fitness centre on board and pools are also found on some of the newer ships that some have swim up bars. Swim up bars? I right. think that's quite impressive. Right, that's river. swim up bar. Now accommodation wise, the 10 concerto class ships, that's from the Amabella onwards. Again, check our website for more details about that. If you click the link there, it will take you through uh, and you can speak to one of our excellent customer service operators and destination experts such as Glenn. So the, the, the concerto ships, which are Amabella onwards, have introduced the revolutionary twin balcony concept to most suites. Um, and this is great, we talked about it before, it basically gives you the choice of a typical French balcony and a sit-on balcony. So you get that, that flexibility and that variety. Then you get the six area class ships, which is Amadiego, Amalegro, On, Amicello, there's quite a few of them. Yeah, there's again. a couple more you need to say. Yeah. Well, Amadolce, yeah, okay, and Amalira. 
Um, and they offer private panoramic balconies, uh, twin window staterooms and luxurious suites. All rooms and suites are beautifully decorated and provide all of the best mod cons to ensure a comfortable voyage, including plush bathrobes and premium linen. Now, all rooms have TVs kitted out with infotainment systems that offer a selection of music shows and movies, as well as free internet access as standard. Now, if you want to find out more about river cruising in general, then click the link here and you'll get episode 38 of Planet Cruise Weekly, where we look at European river cruising, or if you click this link, you get episode 43, which is all about long haul river cruising. So two other opportunities to find out more about the industry in general. And I think, I think it's because it's such a new industry, I think people aren't aware about where you can go and what you can do. No. And some of these, I mean, if you go further afield, you tend to go further afield when you've done a couple of river cruises, but some of these European ones are absolutely phenomenal. They're incredible. And you know, if you do want to go and explore somewhere like China, uh, but you want to do it having that kind of safety and security of a more European atmosphere, uh, an, an, an ambience, then go, sailing down the Yangtze yep. is an amazing way to do that because you you know you literally get to explore so many great things but you're staying on board this is a beautiful ship so we do love to hear your feedback we love you to get in touch with us we'd love you to comment on on this particular video below please do give us your feedback tell us what you liked what you didn't like what we need to improve what you'd like to see in the but future they can't replace us they can't replace us they didn't like us no <laughs> so if people do want to get in touch and make those complaints how do <laughs> yeah. they do that Ben? Um, hello at planetcruise.co.uk so contact us there and email us you can also check us out on Facebook on Twitter Twitter, go on to our YouTube channel, make sure you like and subscribe. And of course, our main bread and butter is our website for cruising as well and river cruises. So if you go on there, you can filter which cruises you want, what dates you want to go, price. And again, if you still don't know what you're doing, you give us a call and we will help you. Now, thanks to all these people that got in touch over the last week. Again, we only ever uh, comment on one or two people that have got in touch. Otherwise, Because we'll that's be how here. many people normally comment. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Uh, <laughs> so first one is John Piper. Uh, John was commenting on our Norwegian Fjords deal. He said, I never get tired of Norway. Photos look stunning, but don't come anywhere near actually being there. And a cruise is a perfect way of taking it all in. He could have literally taken those words out of my mouth, John. You really could have done that. I completely agree with you on that. Um, great place to go and cruise. And so thanks to you, John, for getting in touch. Um, and if you haven't done a Norwegian Fjords cruise yet, what are you waiting for? Great and prices for next year as well. P&O really are doing some really, really good deals on there for next year. Fantastic, mm. okay. And also, we had Leslie Neal get in touch about the Magellan. And she said, I'm going on my third cruise on Magellan in three weeks' time. I really like this friendly ship. Of course, Magellan's one of yours. Yeah, Cruise and Maritime. We actually mm. filmed, me and the cameraman Paul went and filmed on there uh, last year. And I'll tell you what's good with Magellan is it holds 2,000 people, but they only put about 1,200 on there. So it's never packed, you know, some of these ships they ram it all in. Um, so loads of places to sit around and relax. And again, prices for cruise and maritime are all good. They're still doing their buy one, get one half, uh, get one free at the moment. Sailing from British ports and a really kind of friendly, familiar British kind of culture on board and great service. So uh, a good company to look at. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. And I'm sure you'll see me and Glenn next week talking about something to do with cruising. Cheers, guys.